let's have a look at the two games that are happening tomorrow. Midweek mayhem. That's right. I used to say that in extra innings. I remember that's when they had the midweek double headers. Punjab playing Hyderabad. That's the first game that's happening in uh, Chennai. And uh, then the action moves to Mumbai. Chennai and Kolkata are playing in Mumbai. Let's look at the Punjab uh, Hyderabad game first. Very important to Hyderabad. They have to get off the mark. Oh, well, it's an important game for Punjab as well. Yes, because they have a few things to prove as well. Let's have a look at both teams and see if uh, you envisage any changes coming up. Punjab, same problem, Harsha. They're having this problem. They don't have too many all-round options in the middle. And all the other teams are so rich with them, right? They are having this problem of batters don't bowl, bowlers don't bat. See, they're getting back to the original situation. They said, right, we're going to play Riley Meredith. Uh, we are going to play Jai Richardson. They're getting the runs on the board, but they're not able to defend those runs. And if you can't defend those runs and you start to think, okay, let, let me tinker a little bit. Already Murugan Ashwin, who I think is one of the top two, three limited white ball leg spinners in, in India. Already Murugan Ashwin has gone out of the side because they felt the need to play that all-rounder in, in Jalat Saxena. So now suddenly, Punjab don't know how much is enough. Yeah. Is, is yeah. 190 enough? Is 200 enough? 220 almost wasn't enough. Right? 190 yeah. wasn't enough. So now Punjab are thinking, how much is enough? So Punjab have the same issues again, which is who's bowling at the death, how much is enough? But the team in front of them has the same issues as they've had for the last couple of years. They've got their strengths, but that middle is still an issue with Hyderabad. Yeah. And I would like to see if they tinker with the middle a little bit, hmm. you know, I was just checking, I think Abhishek Sharma has been playing for them for 3-4 years. He's had 100 balls. He's played something like 100 balls. Yeah. Which means he's constantly playing these, the Riyan Parags, Abhishek uh, Sharma. They never really settle in. So, I yeah. wonder if, like Hudda has got number 4 at Punjab and you, suddenly you can see the difference. Whether someone can be given that number 4 if Williamson is not around and say, Bete, go. Lalit Yadav, Bete, go. So, I'd like to see, because that will help them solve that issue. Is that someone Vijay Shankar? Is that someone, maybe even an Abdul Samad? Or is that someone Abhishek Sharma saying, okay, we'll back you. Go and take 20 balls. Arsha, I also want to throw in another name. There's a Priyam Garg there as well. If you remember last year, there was a game won for them by this, by the Indian middle, right? The 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 young middle, Priyam Garg, Abdul Samad and Abhishek Sharma. That was against, I think, Chennai. Uh, but we just not, I, I don't know, maybe... That's a great point. Joy, do you think that's it? Let's just think out of the box. We've got resources. We've got youngsters. Whatever we're doing is not working. If Kane Williamson is not there, we need an innovative solution to handle us in the middle. See, Give the responsibility to the youngster. Uh, see, you, you've given give responsibility at number six. They need to give responsibility, as Hasha is saying, at number four. They need to yeah. give in whoever they're giving it earlier. Because see, clearly the problem is that Manish Pandey is not accelerating fast enough. Which yeah. is what one of the problems that they're facing. See, the other thing is, the only good thing I say about tomorrow's first game is that one of the teams will be happy tomorrow. One of the teams will have broken some of the jinxes. Because both these teams are in what we call an existential crisis. Mm -hmm. One doesn't know what to do. Whether I play all-rounders or whether I play with specialists, they don't know what to do. And the other is in a situation where they're saying, these five, six, seven, do I trust them? Don't I trust them? Already they've broken the trust. By moving four guys at one go, I think already, I think that was, I think it was a bit hasty after two games. Suddenly, four players being jerked in and out because it's a, it, it goes, four players goes beyond a tactical change or a single change. I think yeah. now, one of the things is that that dressing room is now worried. Nobody knows whether they're playing tomorrow or day after, what's going to happen. They need to calm things down and they need to say, good call or bad call. We are zero and three. Let's take some hard decisions and say, okay, this is the guy we're going to back for the next four. This is the guy. No matter what happens, let's stick with it because if we keep moving around, it's not going to work anyway. Acha, I, I remember we were talking in the in when we were doing the preview before the tournament began. You you fancied them. You said for the playoffs, you mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. looking at them now and looking at, at, at Joy has got such a valid point that four changes is not personnel change. It's almost a thought process change, right? Uh, none of us could understand it the other day. We were all you know, trying to sort of grapple with it. Uh, I, I think Joy Michael Vaughan was with us and he just, I think he just fell off his chair when, you know, these four changes were announced. At this point in time, given what has happened, do you still, do you still reckon they can pull it back together? Look, they've got pedigree there. Yeah. There's pedigree in Warner, there's pedigree in Bairstow. 
at some point we keep talking about Williams and I almost thought we should do this whole program without talking about Williams but at some point Williams and comes back in what yeah. they're struggling with is that balance do I play Nabi do I play holder do I play somebody else what do I do uh, with, with that balance of the side that is where they're struggling it's an afternoon game it's an afternoon yeah. game in Chennai no dew so you're looking at again you're looking at me 140 150 unless they go to one of those uh, I think one of the pitches has been delivering a 170 game but it's an afternoon game now once again they're thinking oops should I play Nabi now should I be actually playing Virat Singh so Joy is right they are a little confused tomorrow is the day today just about is the day that they need to find their team for the next three or four games but they will start to move very soon from here so a uh, bit of confusion but tomorrow they must know what their best team is and deliver a result it's a big game for them tomorrow <laughs>